What's up guys? Today we're going to upgrade the rudder in the Hobie Outback. So here's the stock rudder, made of plastic. Here's the rudder I'm upgrading it to. Snipe Air Industries Super Rudder XL. So it's bigger by about 2 inches and it's made of aluminum. So this is going to give me a lot better turning radius and it's not going to flex as much if you got like current or swells coming at you. So the stock plastic rudder, this one, is thicker than the metal rudder that I'm upgrading it to. It comes with these plastic washers just to fill in that space. First things first, release the rudder. All right, so what you gotta do next is untie this little knot right here. And it's just two simple knots. What you gotta do is you gotta pull out some slack so that you have room to work. And then what I did is this knot is actually kind of tight. So I just dipped it in some water. And then what you gotta do is you're gonna need some type of like needle nose pliers. And then just grab, try to loosen up this knot. There's two knots on here, but it's just two simple knots. So what I did is I grabbed this little excess and then just loosen the overall knot. And then this knot will come through. Pull the tag in through. And then that's it. Okay, now we pull this through. Make sure you don't lose it. I think it does want to run back up the rudder. Eh, it'll hang there. Okay, next step is to undo this screw. And it's being held on the other side by a lock nut, so it might take some effort. So that just fell out, but here's the spring that sends the rudder down. So since the rudder is going to be moving a lot in this location, I'm going to be putting grease on this side of the wheel. Alright, so another thing you should do is take out this old lock nut, because the threads might not be good anymore. Replace it with one of equal size. Okay, so here you got the spring attached to the rudder. And you put the spring inside of this rudder assembly. It just kind of goes in the bottom lower left half. Feel around to fit it go in. There you go, it's in. All right, now we're gonna lift the rudder up, put the spacers in. Okay, that's gonna be kind of tricky because the spring's under tension. Makes sense. There you go. Just push it back until the holes line up. Alright, rudder's locked in. Now we just gotta tie this bad boy up. So just tie it up where they had it last time. It's right about here. Alright, here it is, all finished. Looking great, looking great. Smooth rudder control too. If you guys like this video, if it helped you out, hit that subscribe button for more content. Thanks.